It's time to check out Toronto and tour it like a local with Tours by Locals. Some activities may be affected by COVID-19, so be sure to check restrictions before any travel to Toronto. Welcome to Toronto, everyone. Dave and I used to actually live in this city up until last year, and we've moved out of town. And now that we are no longer official Torontonians, we decided to tour Toronto like a tourist. So we booked a tour with Tours by Locals, who's going to take us around to all the main sites. Here's our ride, riding in style around Toronto. Yeah. Woohoo! Our guide, Veril, picked us up in his freshly sanitized car, where we had a socially distanced tour of Toronto's top attractions in one day. A great view of the CN Tower is right here from the Toronto Railway Museum. There's also the Steam Whistle Brewery right by, so that good place to grab a beer but it's actually a fantastic view of the CN Tower. And if you are in Toronto and you want to be daring, go up and do the Edge Walk. The Edge Walk is the highest skywalk in the world. And after your guided tour, we recommend going up to enjoy the best views of Toronto from one of the highest observation platforms on Earth. How cool is this? The CN Tower on Front Street is definitely the city's most popular tourist attraction. And here you'll find the Ripley's Aquarium and the Rogers Centre, home to the Toronto Blue Jays. I have to say that while living in Toronto, I never made it down to the Railway Museum here, and it's very cool. First of all, it's a great view of the city. It really shows the mix of old and new. And you have all the old railway cards here, but you also get to see the CN Tower, downtown Toronto, and of course the Rogers Centre. If you want to see the highlights of Toronto and then spend your time afterwards exploring each neighbourhood, I highly suggest this tour. Yeah, it's great. It's great to explore your own backyard and get access to these neighbourhoods that, you know, you just walk through but don't really pay attention to. Yeah, I highly recommend this tour even if you're a local in your own city. Look up tours by locals and uh, find a guide and uh, Go on out and explore your own backyard. I'm having a blast. And we're off to the next stop. The second stop on our tour takes us to the historic distillery district here in Toronto. This was an old distillery called Gooderham and Warts back in the day, and now it's been transformed to a walking area with walking streets. There's a great Christmas market here in the winter time. And during the summer, there's all kinds of street performers happening, lots of shopping and artist studios. And there's a lot of cafes where you can just hang out and enjoy the sun. It is a year round destination. We learned a lot of history from Verrill in a fun and entertaining way. There is so much history here at the distillery district. Al Capone was a customer here getting its spirits during Prohibition. It was huge during that time. And another cool fact is that this is one of the best preserved examples of Victorian industrial architecture in North America. Well, if there's one very cool Canadian place to stop here that's quintessentially Canadian, it is the Hockey Hall of Fame, located at Young and Front Street. It's actually a really cool corner because one of our top entertainment centers are right here as well, the Meridian Hall. Well, this is the hub of Toronto. Right behind me is Union Station, and of course you've got the CN Tower right there. The Fairmont Royal York is right across from Union Station. Look at this street. Fantastic. The great thing about Tours by Locals is it's very customizable. So you can change up as much as you want. It's a private tour. You're getting driven around by a local who knows the area well. 
So you're not only just seeing Toronto, you're learning about the history and you can stay as long as you like in some places or skip others. It's really easy and flexible. I'm so glad to be with you today. To those who say it's great white north, it's very cold. No, it's not. <laughs> You're absolutely right. For an easy picture perfect view of Toronto, come on out to Polson Street. There's a nightclub out here called Rebel Nightclub and it's one of the hottest spots in town. And no wonder, because look at this view of the city. A great way to spend the afternoon in Toronto is to head out to Toronto Island. There's beaches out there, there's a yacht club out there, there's places to eat, and uh, hey, there's a nude beach too if you're up for it. Welcome to Toronto. We are now in the Graffiti Alley. As I said earlier, our Tours by Locals tour is uh, very customizable. Now Graffiti Alley wasn't on our original itinerary, but we were going down Queen Street and Beryl said, I have a great surprise for you. And he turned on to the Graffiti Alley and we got to see this special location. So that's what makes this so unique. You don't have to stick to the itinerary. If you have some time and you wanna change things up a bit, you can do what you want. It's your tour. There's political statements, people's own creative flair. There's so much going on here. It's really worth stopping to see. Look at this, it just goes on. It's not just an alley anymore, it's several alleys. And I hope they never get rid of this. But there's so much construction going on that you can hear in the background. I actually do wonder if this will be a thing of the past one day soon. But for now, I am enjoying Graffiti Alley just off of Queen Street. Another great spot is the St. Lawrence Market. It was voted the best city market in the world by National Geographic. And if you want to have some cheese and meat and wine and just a picnic outside in Toronto, this is the place to go to stock up or even get some souvenirs for on your way out of town. We are at the historic Flatiron Building here in Toronto. And here's a really cool fact. This is the original Flatiron building. The one in New York was actually modeled after this one. And it used to be the headquarters of the Goodman and Wartz Distillery. Cool fact, at the time it was connected to a bank because they dealt with only cash and there were vaults on each floor. Lots of money going through here in Prohibition. fun little fountain right here on Front Street, uh, just behind the Flatiron Building. It's a little dog park with a fountain dedicated to dogs and they are all looking up at the bone. The next stop on our tour is the Art Gallery of Ontario behind me and that facade was created by Frank Gehry, a famous architect. When you go into the Art Gallery of Ontario, it is known for the Group of Seven. And hey, we have a Toronto streetcar going by. Very, very big Toronto moment right now. You've got a great street here of lots of art, design, and the CN Tower. It's just beautiful. No trip to Toronto would be complete without stopping at Nathan Phillips Square. It is our government buildings, Toronto City Hall. We have new City Hall and we have old City Hall and it's a great place to begin any tour of Toronto. Nathan Phillips Square is the heartbeat of Toronto. A popular gathering place, it houses the city's government buildings and courthouse. In the winter, it comes alive with a skating rink and the city's New Year celebrations take place right here. What I love about taking a Tours by Locals tour is that I'm driven around the city so I can see a lot in a short amount of time. Usually I'm on a walking tour or I'm in one part of the city. But by having a private driver, I get to get out and explore each destination and then get back in the car and move on to the next place. So we are covering an awful lot of ground in a very short time. <laughs> favorite thing 
things to do in Toronto is to take a walk through the university grounds. It's just massive. It runs for several city blocks and there's lots of quiet walking paths and big, uh, big circular sitting areas. And all of the buildings are very historic and they're built in the Gothic sense. This tour has taken us to another iconic landmark, Casa Loma, just uptown. This is Toronto's only castle. Look at that, baby. Fun little fact here, Schitt's Creek celebrated all their Emmy wins right here in Casa Loma. This castle was built by Henry Pellet, who made his fortune by selling hydroelectricity to the city of Toronto. Now, due to many misfortunes of the depression and war, he ended up dying penniless, which is really sad, but he left Toronto, this incredible landmark that at one time fell into disarray, but it's been completely restored. You can tour Casa Loma, and they also have many events here. You can have weddings here, and there is even a restaurant and coffee shop inside. And make sure you come around the corner because the stables are just as impressive. Well, behind me is Toronto's second airport, Billy Bishop, named after the big war hero. You know, the guy that used to fly planes. Well, if you're doing short haul flights, you might be flying out of Billy Bishop Airport. Any short haul flights leave from yeah, yeah. this airport. And if you decide to book a scenic flight over Toronto, this is where you'll be leaving from. You can take the ferry over, it's free. You can walk, but you can take a ferry too. Why not do another fun thing in Toronto? Take the ferry. Come explore Yorkville. Yorkville is one of Toronto's most exclusive shopping districts and it houses one of the most expensive streets in the world known as the Mink Mile. It has all the high-end name brands, expensive eateries, and it's a great place to go people watching. It's also home to two of Toronto's most popular museums, the Royal Ontario Museum and the Battashoe Museum. Well, we've been able to see a lot of Toronto in a short amount of time, and the great thing is I don't have to worry about parking. You know, we just get let off at each place, go off and explore, and then move on to the next destination. We have gone from north to south and east to west and we really did see Toronto in a day and this was so much fun, very easy and I super highly recommend it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We had so much fun. We had a great day with tours by locals. If you come to Toronto make sure you ask for Veril and do this tour. Guys, Keep traveling. Yes. If you enjoyed this tour of Toronto, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we put up new travel videos each week. And for more information about tours by locals, check out the link in the description below.